It's unfortunate that I can't take photographs or videos of when I'm actually working. Uh, I understand exactly why I can't. Um, but it's been very interesting today because um, I've given several lectures to this group of childminders and I've been talking about the theory and today, after about a year and a half, they actually got to see me working with children. Um, I, I know it's a very un-British thing to do, but the, the, the reviews that I got they were excellent. Uh, and I know that I do a good job. And I felt um, very happy, no, I felt extremely happy, to see that they could see that all of the things I talked about do have a basis in reason and in practicality. So it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun, a lot of singing, a lot of playing. Now here's the thing, I've just been looking at the news and there's been a huge earthquake in Chile, which is a bit worrying, especially since uh, I'm due to go there in six weeks time. It's not that I'm worried uh, about the, the fact that the tour might have come off, but it's the, the fact that people that I've spoken to on um, on emails and on the phone they will be in danger I mean my attitude is it's uh, it's about 250 miles away from Santiago and Valparaiso which is where I'm actually going to be working but um, still a terrible thing and if there's a choice to be made I will certainly choose to go I remember that the last time that there was a tsunami and earthquake like that the people who lived there said, please, you know, come to the places where there's no problem. It, it only seems to make matters worse if everybody has a knee-jerk reaction and doesn't turn up. But uh, definitely something to, to phone home about. I've spoken to Anne and it happened or the news broke when I was actually working in the nursery and she told me that uh, there was an earthquake in a place called Concepcion and that's about 250 miles south of Santiago and she's like me it's a case of um, would rather go than not go uh, I'm not due to go for another six weeks and she won't be going for nearly two months so a lot of things can change in that time, so hopefully uh, everybody will be alright. You know, a teacher said to me recently, what you do is like a proper job. It's like a business, isn't it? It's a good job I've got a sense of humour. He turned around and said, yeah, nearly.
Now that's got to be a world land speed record for packing a car. And I've gained an extra bag somewhere along the line, so here we go with the rest of my nearly a proper job. Sunday, then it must be Manchester. So here I am again, back to work in the same school for the first two days, Monday, Tuesday, and then after that I'm in a different school that's booked me uh, outside of Then I am off to Peterborough, and then I'm going to get to see my wife Anne. Hurrah! So it's been busy and a good drive, and I'm going to do what I don't usually get a chance to do since I'm staying here for four days. I'm going to actually put some stuff away and hang some stuff up so it doesn't look as if I'm a cowboy and this is a campsite. is all there is to it and that was a day off <laughs> 